Our first guest tonight is not only from the Twilight Saga, but also the ABC Family series, The Secret Life of the American Teenager. And she did a little time in Maxim Magazine. I can't wait to hear about that. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Christian Serratos. Welcome to the show. Go ahead and have a seat. Oh, so how's it going? Not too badly. How are Not you? Not too bad. I'm doing good. I'm glad you were able to make it out today. Me too. Do you have trouble finding the place? A little bit, actually. A little bit? All yeah. right. Well, at least you made it. That's good. Yes. Now, you've spent some time not only on the screen in Twilight, but mm -hmm. also on television in Secret Life. What's it like to work in both sides of that so early in your career? Um, I mean, I, I guess I, I suppose I lucked out. I was born and raised in L.A., so it kind of was just ingrained in me that that was probably something I was going to be involved with, with the yeah. entertainment industry. Um, I didn't necessarily think it'd be acting, though, uh, but I ended up really loving it. So it was, it was really cool. I, I, I can't necessarily pick one. I love them both, but, but yeah, it's been a great experience. And now you're on a low-budget, online-based talk show. How does that make you feel? <laughs> Wait, I'm not being paid for this? No. No? No. <laughs> no, it's great. I'm you glad can grab a here. soda on the way out, but that's about I it. I will. I have a duffel bag. Okay, that okay. sounds good. <laughs> now, in Twilight, you played uh, Bella's friend, Angela Weber. Yeah. What was the point in that saga that you kind of realized, wow, I have hit the jackpot being in this series? Um, when I got my contract and I knew how much I was going to be paid. That's oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I don't know. There, were, there, were, there was like a slow progression where I realized what was really happening, um, a couple different moments. But um, I think when I, when I got to set for the first time and I met everyone, and there was already fans traveling from like different countries to just watch us film, uh, I knew it was going to be something special. But, but it wasn't until I started doing press for it and I saw like the amount of people that were like dedicated to, yeah. to this franchise, then it, it, it hit me. And then, uh, of course, there's been weird... Um, things that have happened to me, like a fan sent my name into space just for the shit of it. Sent, wait a second. <laughs> sent your name in? How does that even happen? I don't know. I got laminated NASA paperwork. So Like I, they named a star after No, no, no. That would have been sent, cool. Oh, okay. And by the way, I'm still open to that possibility. But still kind of creepy, yeah. though. <laughs> no, no, no I, but I like weird, creepy things. Like, I don't know. Um, okay. But, <laughs> but no, I guess I suppose my name in like a small capsule, I think it might... I'm making this all up, but okay. I think it might have been just like my my actual name in a little capsule that went up into the interesting galleries. That is really weird. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. No. So uh, and a snort. We got a snort out of it, which is nice. Uh, it's cool. Now you're comfortable. <laughs> Uh, so now, also, you're on television in Secret Life of an American Teenager. For people who haven't seen the show, tell us a little bit about what the show's about. Um, it follows a, a girl in school and her kind of decisions um, that she makes in life. She gets pregnant at a very young age, so you just kind of follow her story. But um, I got onto the show because I worked with Brenda Hampton, the creator of the show, on a different project. And um, she just kind of plucked us from that project and put us on Secret Life as like the same kind of... Um, Badass characters. Awesome. Yeah. And with the TV show and the saga's just wrapping up, you have time on your hands. Did you do anything fun over the yeah. summer? Did you have time for that? Um, thinking about it, it's so bittersweet. I've, since I was 16 years old, knew that I was going to go back to another Twilight project, and yeah. now it's like, oh my God, it's over. Yeah. But um, yeah, I've I've had a moment to kind of relax, which has been really nice. Um, I wanted to try to take some trips, but um, the the trip I just got back from was Fashion Week. Oh, really? Which was super cool. Uh, it was my first official Fashion Week, my cool. first New York Fashion Week. So it was it was really fun. And you've been you've been recently involved in fashion because you just opened your own jewelry line called Kishi, right? Kishi, Kishi. yes, okay. is it? Um, nice. So tell me about the line. How did it get started, and what's it all about? Um, well, my mom is a jewelry designer. That's her profession. It's okay. what she's really good at. And um, I kind of followed in her footsteps and was learning the craft for a long time and designing my own stuff when I was really little. Um, and it, I, I would always like design my own pieces for different red carpets and things to, to suit me. And yeah. it just kind of seemed silly that we hadn't started a line yet. Right. So um, we just decided, well, shit, we got to do it. And we're doing it. And we have no idea what we're doing, but we're going to go at it hard and see what happens. That's awesome. So if, if say, I wanted to get this for my girlfriend, yeah. where could I find? Well, we have, Kishi, we have Kishi.net. Okay. But 
if you would like a piece for your girlfriend, we could definitely set that up. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I don't make that much money, so. <laughs> we, can nice. uh, we can hook it up. All right. Sweet. <laughs> I take cool. her on a date to McDonald's every once in a while. Oh, that's fabulous. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. That. <laughs> okay, now I am going to give you the opportunity, just so everybody knows, uh, you have the opportunity to compete in the very first game competition on Clocked Out. Ooh, it's okay? not going to be much of a competition. Oh, <laughs> shit, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to play Cocked Out. Oh, it's a weird name. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about it's guns. Okay. So oh, everyone much finds more in here dirty. It's guns. I didn't even make the connection. Neither. <laughs> Let's go over there and check it out, okay? Okay. Here we are. This is Cocked Out, the gun version for everyone with a dirty mind apparently earlier, like her. <laughs> this is Cocked Out. Christian Serratos is going to be our first contestant. Let me explain the rules mm. to you briefly, okay? okay? First of all, we have our board over there. The different hole cutouts on the board have different point values. The point of this game is you have 30 seconds to try to score as many points as you possibly can. Now you have three different guns to work with here, okay? Okay. The first gun, the red penetrator, because it has a laser sight on it. Okay. <laughs> These are all very clean names. I don't know why anybody thinks that they're not. This is uh, Green Thunder. Okay. Okay. And this is Little Boy Blue. Okay. And we're gonna get you all goggled up here because we don't want anything hurting your eyes. No, of it's course. a serious weapon. No, it is. It is. And then we've got your uh, your ammo belt okay, that we have to get on you here. Okay. Let's get this all geared up. Let's How do, do this. I? Uh, 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 no, I don't uh, want to mess anything up here. Nope, you're good. Uh, I didn't touch anything. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So we're going to have you stand. You ready for this? Yeah. All right. We're going to have you stand right here. Oh, Scoot my God. I'm okay, so right here. Are you okay. ready to go? Which yeah. gun would you like to start with? The, little, the big little one. Boy, li, little, <laughs> Sorry, little boy. Sorry, little boy blue. blue. Get it right. Come Sorry. on. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Are we ready on the time? Are we, no, I, sh are we ready I truly on the time? should have practiced. You, yeah, you probably should have. Probably. Wait, how do I even shoot this thing? Oh, right here. There's a trigger. Oh, my. <laughs> yes. You know how to cock the gun? Here we go. Okay, ready? We got 30 seconds like, on the wait, clock. Wait, how do I cock it? Like this? Yeah, okay. it's, yeah, okay. it's already cocked. Ready? Okay. We got 30 seconds on the clock. All uh, right, ready? In three, two, oh one, go. Why is it going? Cock it. <laughs> go. Oh, Jesus. keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Come on, oh people. My God. Cheer on. Cheer on. Let's go. Why do you give me the fuck up? Oh, we got one. Here we go. Okay, this one's broken. Keep going. Keep going. This it's one's jam, broken. It's jam, it's jam. There we go. There you go. Oh my God. Okay, five points. It's gonna be it. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Oh Keep my going. goodness. Keep going. Oh my God. Five. Are you four, serious? I only get three, five points. Two. One. Oh. No, 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 no. Here we go. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. The problem is you gave me the jammed gun. I'm sorry. Now, wait a second. Before you take everything off, oh. actually, put your goggles back on. Oh. You're not done yet. While they're tallying up your second? score, while they're tying up your score, you get to use Grasshopper. Now, Grasshopper is a very dangerous weapon. Okay. Okay? So let's have you stand back over here is again. Is this one going to be malfunctioning as well? Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Not the first time I've heard that. So, we get the gun ready. It's cocked. It's ready to go. Okay. okay? You get one final shot. Okay. Now, before you shoot, let's yeah. find out what your, what your score is of right now. Your score is five. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> now, you get one final shot. Take your shot. When you are comfortable, try to add as many points as you want. If you want to go for, for another five, that's fine. You want to go for the blue balls down at the bottom, it's your choice. Oh, man. I might want to. Okay. Okay. This doesn't even have a... All right. Meh. Does that look right? Uh... I, I'm not going to tell, uh, down a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, oh. So, close. so close. Everybody give a hand for Christian Serratos.